Ciao a tutti! Voi sapete che adoro vivere in Italia. Yeah, it's pretty obvious why I love living here. Non ho parlato di comprare una casa qua. I've never talked about real estate because I don't know anything about real estate, but I know someone who does. His name's Dave and you might know him from his YouTube channel where he talks all about Italian real estate. So I'm on my way to Monopoly. I'm taking the train to meet up with him. I'm heading just outside the city to tour this luxury villa. It's 1.3 million euro, has this crazy awesome pool, four bedrooms, and an entire separate building with a kitchen and culinary space. It is designed to entertain. I'm with Dave! <laughs> What's up? <bro>? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this villa is so stinking gorgeous. We're going to show you all around the inside of it. But first, Dave, Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I live in Italy. I actually live near Milan, just outside. I came in 2013 to meet my future wife and uh, would never use my return ticket. So <laughs> I visit Puglia all the time, but this time I was asked, because I came down, someone reached out, hey, are you still there? You wanna check out this villa? And I said, hey, let's invite Katie. So she was awesome and decided to come along. We I, I do real estate on my channel, so you can follow me there if you want. But Definitely, this video is going to be amazing. Stick around to the end and subscribe to Katie if you haven't yet. Uh, that's really important. He's really good at this. Let's uh, <laughs> let's check out this villa, shall we? Yeah, definitely. Let's check it out. You could actually close this wall off. You could still access the whole house with one bedroom, one bathroom and have an entirely private entrance to three bedrooms. This is so nice. Imagine morning coffee, oh, yeah. late night, wine, however you want to do it, looking out across the, the valley. Um, as far as neighbors go, we, there is one neighbor that's 200 meters off that direction, and then a private street that we came on. You could do a full-on cooking school in here. You could do a full-on cooking school. This is so, 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 so dope. And to end the tour with the thing I've just been so excited to show you, this pizza oven. It is like a legit, incredible wood-fired pizza oven. And can you just imagine Friday night pizza nights with this beast? Forget about it. This is a pizza oven. That's all I want in this life. And not just a pizza oven, but an entire awesome dining area to host your friends, to host, I don't know, you know, you could, you could have entire events here. And that is probably why in the back here, there's like a professional commercial grade kitchen. I mean, you guys, being here legitimately makes me want to open a cooking school. How fun would that be? This, this place is so set up for it. It's so cool. Okay, well until then, uh, let's, let's talk real estate with Dave, because I know you've got questions. I do too. All right, What's up? so a ton of people ask me, what's real estate like in Puglia? Okay, for the complete newbie, i.e. me and many of my viewers, like, can you give me like an Italian real estate 101? I'll try to be concise. Okay. <laughs> so Italian one, uh, Italian 101, Italian real estate 101, first place. Ciao, arrivederci. <laughs> <laughs> She's better at the Italian 101. <laughs> no, go on, sorry. So starting off, there's so many markets you could choose from. I split them up. Markets are just a categorization of, of real estate, but so there's a traditional real estate agent, most commonly used. Um, the difficulty there is knowing who to trust because you could find a really good one, someone who has the intention to be good, but they are just starting, or someone who is really just trying to take advantage of and put prices as high as possible to earn the most money. So 
there's a challenge there. Um, if you're a newbie, that's probably your, your go-to because you're relying on, first of all, you might not know Italian, you, you'll find an, an English speaking real estate agent. That's a really good solution. Just make sure you get to know them very, very well to know how they function so that you can understand each other and stay on the same page. There's lots of other markets that we won't get into, but like the auction, there's the one euro homes. Oh wait, can we talk about that? What's with the one euro homes? What's that about? And is that a trend? So it's more like a marketing ploy. Yeah. Um, definitely. But a good one or a bad it's one? It's working okay. in certain communities. Sure. So there are people, like I even saw Milan has said one euro homes uh, to a certain degree. It's actually like a, a neighborhood they want to sell huh. so that they can get it redeveloped. But we haven't talked about that on my channel yet. Point is, is that a lot of people are seeing that as an advantage on being able to communicate with the foreign market really easy because like CNN picks up on it every few months and uh, people watch CNN and then there's other um, news channels across the world that do the same. So it's kind of the fad, mm -hmm. fad a little bit. At the same time, it is helping communities that don't get a lot of spotlight to say, hey, remember us mm -hmm. and to have the potential on redeveloping their communities. The big questions are, is it real? Is it really happening? Uh, is it worth it? It's happening. Is it worth it? It depends on your perspective because I wouldn't say it's a place to make money. If you make money, great, but I'm not going to suggest it ever as a, uh, like go there and flip a house and you'll for sure double your money. It doesn't make sense at all because people don't go there typically uh, to buy real estate. There's a reason why the village is slowly declining in, in population. Yep. So if you can go there and add value by bringing innovation, I'm, all, I'm a big supporter. Uh, that's kind of like my take on things. And I've met people that have re remodeled one euro homes. They're not one euro. They're hundreds of thousands. Yeah. The cheapest yeah. I could imagine is a very small one for 50, 60,000. Well, and isn't it actually a part of the deal? So yes, you buy it for one euro, but in many cases, don't you have to commit to being there for a certain number of years and to renovate it to a certain kind of level of Yes and no. For example, every community follows a different rule. Okay. There's no Italian standard for the one euro homes as you would might want to believe. There's a, there's a big difference between buying the one euro home and buying this one because mm -hmm. this one comes with some restrictions like uh, putting a bond down for a few thousand depending on the community again. And then this one is just you buying real estate. Mm -hmm. but always you have to pay attention on whether it's going to be dangerous for the community like the members mm -hmm. of the community the neighbors uh, if the building's falling down then you're going to need to put it into a secure situation within a few years yeah and then as long as the building is safe you can usually do whatever you want you can leave it and not use it for years potentially but why why would you why do would that? you do it just as to, to protect the neighbors you know yeah. look where we're sitting right now there's one year homes in italy and there's this. There are definitely million dollar homes in Italy. And that's what you probably usually see on YouTube and other channels. Um, I try to focus on the rest of it mm -hmm. most of the time, but I really like to see what's available. So seeing, seeing something like this is good. Whenever Connor and I talk to people about like, oh, we're considering, like we don't know, but maybe in the future we'll buy something. A lot of Italians, have been like, oh, watch out, there's a lot of, like you end up paying much more than you like think you will. There's a lot of almost like gotcha or like catch, catch you moments. I understand that. And most of the catchy moments is because you don't understand the system, uh, okay. right? Obviously there are, put, there are potential criminal minded people out there that do want to get you, yeah. but uh, I would say the majority of people are good Right, and because you you own your sp your spot, so you've gone through this process. Yeah, I went through auction for mine. You auction, okay. And uh, that's pretty for me straightforward. But you have to know what you're doing so that you don't accidentally buy something um, that you can't use yeah. potentially, because yeah. there's a lot of stuff on the auction. Do but you need an Italian bank account? Not necessary. Okay. It's useful in some ways. I know lots of people who have real estate who don't have a bank account. They pay someone else to pay the bills for them. Uh, and others that use places like TransferWise or, or yeah, yeah, agencies like TransferWise. Yeah. 
When it comes down to it, the, the process of buying is just getting a contract set up and, and uh, there's a certain, um, you put a deposit down, often 10%, most likely, not most likely, sometimes you might run into someone asking more, 30% or something like that. Don't get, don't get so confused. When it comes to a mortgage, the, the loan to value ratios are different for foreigners. You don't get 80, 20, 80% uh, mortgage. 20% deposit, potentially it's most likely 30% uh, or 40% depending on the mortgage lender and it's a bit harder to get. Sometimes people confuse those types of deposits. Um, if someone's asking for more than 10%, it's probably because they don't trust you as a foreigner and so they're also trying to get as much from you at the beginning. I would warn that uh, from what I understand in the system, of Italian business system, if you like pay a lot up front, uh, there is potential that they just close down their business and you don't see them again. Oh. So I would suggest if someone hmm. is doing the 30% thing, you gotta make sure you have a lawyer on your side to understand the situation. Uh, if they're requiring 30%, for example, if they're requiring it, it's a bit of a red flag for me. 10% um, is kind of standard. This place is amazing, um, but there are so many other amazing places and from one euros that you could renovate to much more. Go over and check out Dave's YouTube Davo. Yeah, we got it written right here, it makes it easy. Written right there. There will also be a link either on the screen in the description box below and check out the um, video we did for his channel of this space and he you know really goes through talks much more technically than i do really shows all of the rooms um that you have just glimpsed in this video so go check that out dave tell these fine folks what not to forget keep it quirky you heard it right here folks <laughs> Also, can I just show you while I've been recording the intro for this video? My friend. My friend Kiro! My friend Kiro! Tell everyone to subscribe to the channel, Kiro! Subscribe! Kiro wants you to subscribe. You should probably subscribe.